Welcome back ladies and gents, this is Mosta with another closer look video. In this episode, we're going to be comparing the beloved Cutter with the newly announced Cutter Scout. Welcome back guys. So, the beloved Cutter has now got a brother or a sister, the Cutter Scout, which has been released. So which one should one buy? What are the differences between these two variants? So let's have a deep dive and have a look. We're going to look at the aesthetics of the ship. Then we're going to look at the specs and the components. And uh, we're going to piece together like a murder investigation, uh, the key differences between the two variants. Uh, again, please cut me some slack. I'm at the mercy of the information on the ship matrix, which is not accurate. The information on the brochures, which are sometimes not accurate. And um, thank God for uh, community members like Urkel, uh, who has created a DPS calculator, which I can also get some, uh, some stats. So here are the two ships side by side. And already we can see some key differences uh, between the two ships obviously the cutter for those that don't know is a starter ship and it's a light freight ship just think of it as a friendly combi van that you use to travel the verse in peace and tranquility and hope no one ganks you on the way um, it's it's uh, a very basic ship it's got four skew of cargo so it can do a tiny bit of cargo handling uh, but it's predominantly a runabout right it's literally like a combi van and um, it's it's a very popular com combi van it's got that cool drake factor i'm a massive drake fanboy i have a very love hate relationship with my with my drake ships and you can see all the engineering uh, uh porn on the inside and outside of this ship with pipes and uh and uh, wires and and you can see ship components and stuff on on the outside it just looks uh so cool i, I do love my drake ships um what are the key differences well the cutter scout is a scouting intelligence ship so we're talking about radar we're talking about being able to scan and get more information from your surroundings with the cutter scout aesthetically Obviously, the radar dish that's on the Cutter Scout is one key difference. You can see that here on the top of the fuselage, and the normal Cutter doesn't have that. Then the second thing I noticed was this cool spoiler on the Cutter Scout. So I'm already a big fan of the Scout if I had to buy one. The cool factor is... Uh, is, is a lot stronger on this one because of this spoiler, whereas on the normal um, cutter, you've just got two fins coming out at 45 degrees. Um, also, what I've discovered is that the thruster architecture is slightly different on the two ships. And I think you can see that here, right? So on the cutter scout, on this kind of VTOL section of the thrusters, you can see this top bit uh, which isn't on the normal cutter and I think that's a retro thruster It's quite a large retro thruster one on each side whereas on the cutter you just have this I think these tiny uh, uh, Auxiliary retro thrusters uh, on, on the side of that part of the ship So that's another key difference and I'm sure if I was able to walk around one I'd, 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 You could easily see and the specs do say that the thruster um Sorry, I'm just trying to plug in that. The thruster um, architecture is different. They both have 20 thrusters, but they're configured slightly differently. Does that translate to any performance uh, improvements or not? I don't know. Um, I would love for people that might have both ships and can they actually feel any difference in the performance of the ships to let me know in the comments below. Please do. Um, other than that, there... There's not that much difference between the two. They're the things that my poor eyes can detect anyway. It's mainly the thruster configuration, the spoiler, and also, obviously, the radar dish on the top. Then you've got the, the paints, obviously, the cutter default paint, I think, is uh, this 
this yellow trim. I'm not a fan of yellow, so I'm not a big fan of the default skin there. Whereas with the Cutter Scout, you've got a much sexier red trim. You've got black parts of the ship, which is quite sexy as well. And this is one of the paints that is available. Let's have a look at the um, components, guys. I've got both brochures up on the screen. Uh, you can see that that is the Cutter's technical specs, and that's the Cutter Scout's. So let's just use the cutter as the base reference point as we compare the two ships. Here we've got a roll as a starter ship. The scout, and by that I mean you can get the, the cutter and get a game package with it. Whereas with the scout, I don't think you can. Both of them are for only one person, a crew of one. They seem to have the same dimensions on the outside, which is 20 meters length, 13 meters wide, and 6 meters Hi, I have heard internally there's a difference in the dimensions inside. Uh, the speeds are both the same. So 160 meters per second um, SCM and I think it's 1050 meters per second full speed. So both have the same maximum speeds. Uh, cargo capacity for the cutter is four skew. And this is one of the major differences between the cutter and the scout. The scout only has two skew. So you're sacrificing 50% of your uh, of your cargo space uh, for that scouting scanning uh, capability um, the power plant on the normal cutter is a size one and for the scout it's a size two so that's one major difference is the power plant is larger on the scout and that is presumably to power the radar dish uh, and and scanning capabilities at this scout ship has uh, also inherent in having a larger size is kind of uh, i know this won't play out but i'm just trying to be pedantic in pointing out the differences right the hit points of ship components increase generally as the bigger they get so it, it gives you a little bit more resilience is it going to save your life uh, i don't think so but we're here to point out the differences nonetheless right uh, i might point out some differences but in in gameplay real world uh, situ situations when you've got uh, you know uh, mongrel squadron breathing down your neck <laughs> is any of this going to make a difference no the only thing that is going to make a difference is like being able to escape so um, there's that um, so power, po power plants more powerful the quantum drive jump drive are the same on both um, both models and here you've got the thruster architecture and this is where there's a slight difference in the brochures and aesthetically as well so again they both have 20 thrusters in total but they're configured differently one of the major things is this full retro thrusters and i do believe what we're seeing on top of this section are the two other uh, retro thrusters as opposed to for example two retro thrusters and two auxiliary retro thrusters right so it seems like at least in the retro direction the scout might be more powerful or efficient i'm not sure um, again i'd love someone to educate me on this so slightly different uh thruster configurations quantum fuel and fuel tank are two size ones each so they both have the same range there's no difference in range and capability there they both have the same size tanks Shield generator, they both have size one shield generators. So again, no difference in the tankiness when it comes to shields. Now the cooler on the on the Scout is one size bigger. So it's a size two cooler as opposed to the Cutter's size one. Again, it's kind of all making sense, right? Because we're leading up towards the increased or bigger radar capabilities. And then it's got these interesting uh, components that uh, we don't really typically see in game yet, uh, but it's mentioned and they're both the same for each ship. So we're just gonna skirt over that until we get more, like things like gravity generator size one, fuel intakes, batteries, life support systems. Like we know this stuff's being built in the background, but I don't wanna dwell on it. All we need to know is when you're comparing the two ships, they're all size one. Computers, they both have a size one computer. Again, apart from controlling AI, turrets and stuff i don't know what a computer does i was thinking maybe for scanning and whatnot you need a more powerful computer but obviously not um, they both have size one computers 
Radar, this is where it gets juicy. This is this is it, the size two radar. Um, radar and scanning, right? So it's not just being able to detect things out there, it's being able to gain information, what cargo's on the ship. You can do it presumably because you have a size two on the scout, you now have a greater range of being able to scan things, detect things before they detect you. So that is the crux that that's the heart of the difference between the two ships and having this larger radar i think has rippled onto other components so you need a larger cooling system for the larger radar therefore you have a size 2 cooler and you need a larger power supply to support these two components so you have a size 2 power supply that's kind of my rationale so there's three components on the scout that are larger than the normal cutter the uh, power plant, uh, cooler, and obviously the radar system because it is a scout at the cost of what? The cost of two skew of cargo. Weapon wise, they're both the same except for one tiny difference. So you have two size two hard points for your weapons. You can gimbal them. You have two size two uh, missile racks. Uh, you can probably choose to put two size one missiles on each rack or two size or one size two on each rack so that would be four si size one missiles in total for each ship or two size two missiles in total for each ship um one sec so the key difference between the two ships are the capacitance from what i could detect and um this is from urkel uh, DPS calculator as a source um, so I'm going to I'm going to roll with it so the capacitance pull and it might be related to the power plant size I'm not sure uh, the capacitance pull on the cutter is 4500 whereas on the scout it's 5500 so significantly more almost 20% or I don't know 18% more oh, I'm bad at maths uh, but it is a little bit more on the cutter scout. What does that mean? Well, you've got the same uh, sized weapons. So your burst damage, your initial damage is um, the same at 672 hit points. But your sustained damage on the scout is a little bit higher than the normal cutter. And not by much. We're talking 395 dps compared to 390 again is it going to turn the tide of any battles that you're going to fight probably not but you know it is a small difference and it's uh, good to know and that's it so in summary guys the cutter scout has got a a radar dish a scanning dish it's able to scan and detect uh elements around it uh at, at a much greater range maybe a much greater detail uh than the normal cutter you can scan ships you can your radar will have increased range i'm assuming um you can detect things on those ships you can uh, just gain more information from your surroundings now you also have three larger components you have a larger power plant you have a larger cooler and you have obviously a larger radar system um, which is cool uh, everything else is pretty much the same apart from slightly increasing capacitance in the weapon pool and uh, you do sacrifice two skew of cargo um, to gain all those elements on the scout you've got a cool spoiler as well and um, so which one would I go with well let's have a look at the pricing and today is the what, 11th so the 13th of November 2023 and these are the prices as of now if you like and for the cutter you've got a $66 um, game package so this is a starter package so i just want to eliminate this from from our price comparisons if you like because this is a different kettle of fish when you're talking about a a starter starter package that comes with the star citizen digital download um it only comes with six month insurance and it's valued at 66 dollars uh, you can get a normal standalone cutter for I think um, $49.95 and it comes with six month insurance 
Um, so that's not with the Star Citizen game. And uh, so that's the cutter. Um, if we go and change this to the cutter scout. <coughs> We'll see that for 4950, you get this cutter scout with a extra paint, a nightfall paint, which I assume is this aqua blue paint, and you get lifetime insurance, guys. So that is the deal of the show, to be honest. This is definitely one that I would go for if I was on the market for a cutter. I'd go for the scout, and I would go for this one because I get a paint, and I get LTI. Whereas, weirdly enough, this $55 option here, which is a bit more expensive, the IAE, again, if someone could educate me as to what the value of this $6 increase is, because you don't get LTI with this, you only get 120 month insurance, and you don't get an extra paint, but it does show it in this red trim. So are you really paying for this red trim for the extra six dollars i'm assuming you are so i would definitely go for the lti option though um, and just to wrap it all up why i would go for the scout guys is not only because of the slightly bigger components obviously the scanning and radar has got two elements to it gameplay wise for me one is if you are part of a larger organization you can actually complement other sh fancier ships with your scouting capability, right? You can go out on mining uh, journeys or you can go out org events. You can participate in all of those things and use your uh, size 2 radar to feed information, to find mining rocks or whatever it is, right? It, it, you do have a purpose now in the cutter. You can serve a purpose apart from going point A to point B. Uh, so that's one thing. Another thing is you're kind of a bit susceptible in a cutter, right? You're a bit of a sitting duck. So defensively, if I have a stronger radar, hopefully I can detect uh, enemies before they detect me and I can start to get the hell out of dodge. So that aspect of it as well, the survivability aspect of it might come into play as well. Um, it's got a cooler spoiler <laughs> as well. So I would definitely go with the Cutter Scout. I'm happy to sacrifice two SKU of, of cargo and get bigger ship components as well as all those gameplay things. That's just my humble opinion, guys. Let me know what you think. Do you guys think, are you guys more with the Cutter or you prefer the Cutter Scout? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe the video. And um, if you ha do have any questions or suggestions for any other closer looks, uh, please at me on X, otherwise known as Twitter, um, at Mosta, M-O-Z-S-T-A. Until next time, guys, bye for now.